Good evening, everyone. How are we doing? We're back again, Delkim Live, on a Thursday night. Hope you're well. Lee Ramang here, um, chatting all things Delkim for 30 minutes or so. Again, um, hopefully giving you some help and information and tips and whatever it is you need to keep you going um, through lockdown or just to uh, understand our products a lot better. Uh, how are we doing? I hope we're okay. Um, have we been fishing? Let me know if you've been fishing on here, uh, what you've caught, whether it's on uh, and what, what products you're using. That would be well handy. Share with others. There's loads of people on the chat. Hello to all the regulars already um, flying up the screen. Um, yes, Bill, it's Thursday already. Another week flies by. These come up thick and fast. Um, so I can't believe I did these every day during the first lockdown. That would have been, I don't know how I managed it, but anyway. Um, so what are we going to look at tonight? Um, well, we're going to look at how easy it is to set up and just go fishing with your brand new set of TXIDs and RXD receiver. All right, so I did this before um, and it's one of our most watched videos, but the quality of the video actually wasn't very good. I had internet issues and it was a bit jumpy. So um, that was about three or four months ago. So I thought I'd revisit it tonight, do it again, nice and clear, and hopefully show everyone um, how easy these products are to use. Um, you know, one of the criticisms that's being leveled at the new alarms is that they're complicated to use. They're not complicated to use. They're all set defaults. You just turn them on, go fishing. They have lots of settings and you can play with them if you wish, but straight out the box, you can just turn them on and go basically. So we'll come to that in a bit and show you how easy that is to um, get up and going. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, um, stick them on the chat and I'll try my best to go through um, as many as I can, as always, whether it's about methods, uh, you know, old products, new products, whatever it is you need help on. As I always say, you know, if you're asking it, there's going to be 10, 20, 30, 40 other people who, you know, would, would like to know the answer to that question. So don't be shy about what you're asking, no matter how basic or simple, and I will try and cover it. Or if I can't physically cover it tonight, then you know clearly there are videos uh, that I can point you to. And don't forget if you are watching um, and on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to our channel. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, you guys watching on Facebook, um, loads of content on our Facebook uh, YouTube page. So please go across there and uh, you know sign up and subscribe. That would be well useful because we're producing content all the time. All these. Um, live videos go up on YouTube as a point of reference and we're putting new bits up there and there's all other stuff coming all the time. So um, unfortunately, Frank, my French isn't very good. So we're a UK company. We're going to be in English. Uh, je suis désolé. That's about as much as I can do. So I'm ever so sorry. Uh, I can't do these in French and we don't have any French speakers in the small family that we have. Simple as so. Very, very sorry. Um, we do have instructions in all the languages, just to let you know, we have it all go, if you go to our app, all our instructions on there, our website, we've got them in um, most um, European languages, so you can find one uh, for you, so, you know, certainly all the main ones, um, Hungarian, Polish, Slovakian, uh, there's, 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 there's a whole load, Hungarian, did I say that, Czech, um, there's loads of different languages, so we should be something to help everybody with everything. So we're not just trying to just tell everybody in English. So we understand we are a, a, a global, certainly a very uh, popular European brand. So, but we do sell South Africa and USA, um, Russia, I think we sold stuff and Japan. So, um, you know, we are in various countries, but uh, yeah, you know, obviously UK is our biggest market and I speak English. So not much I can do about that. I'm ever so sorry. My, my, um, it'd be good if I could do a whole, live in French. I don't think I could even learn that in lockdown, so I haven't got the time. Uh, I've got a three-year-old, so that's not going to happen. Um, so, oh, Tony Jarvis, you're fishing with your TXIDs. Fantastic. Have you caught anything? That's the main thing. Uh, I hope so. Um, right, do me a little housekeeping, as you know, which I always like to do. If you've bought TXIDs or EVDs and you're looking to get the accessories or you're thinking about buying the new digital range and what you're going to do with the accessories. You need the V2 accessories, okay? Your old accessories, if you've got TXI pluses or, you know, a plus range alarm, if you've got the safety or the D-lock, 
They are not transferable. You need the new the V2 versions. The moldings are completely different. It's a different product. You should have known it by now. You must have all seen it. It's smaller, so you do need the V2 versions. Um, put that down there. The feet are universal, so you don't need to look for V2 feet. The feet, pack of three um, spare feet, is works with the old and the new accessories, which we still make. So the, the old accessories we're still producing. So if you've still got pluses or the very first range, then you can still get D-locks and safety to them. So that's not a problem. And all hangers fit all our alarms. Let me show. We've done, I haven't done this for a little while, but I'd still get asked. So what we got here, just to show you. So I've got three hangers there. What have I got? I've got a Nightlight Pro. I've got a Nightlight V2. I've got a Slim Light. Okay, they all have the same jack plug, so they'll all fit any plus range alarm and any of the new digital ones. You don't need to worry about getting a specific hanger for a specific alarm. They all fit all our alarms, but Delkin hangers only work with Delkin. Somebody asked me that, why don't you make them for somebody else's? Why would we delve into the best alarms, surely? Why would I make hangers that work with somebody else's alarms? So that's what, uh, we're not into that. Let's just see if anybody got any questions before we kick off tonight. Um, make sure we get some people on board. Um, I can I answer a question. Is there a limit when fishing with Delkin? Michael Goodyear? Is there a limit when fishing with Delkin? What, 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 what kind of limit? What kind of limit? Explain to me, Michael. What kind of limit are we on about? I'm not quite sure. So what we're going to talk about tonight, if you have just joined us, uh, we're just going to go through how quick, how simple, and how easy it is to unbox, set up, and go fishing with your TXIDs and RXDs, okay? Um, people seem to be a little bit concerned, or certainly people that haven't switched over, or they look complicated, they look really difficult to use. I don't know if I'm going to, you know, too much for me. They're all set up. With defaults, you just turn on and go fishing. They have settings that you can personalise once you've, you know, feel like it. Much like a TV has 101 settings that you never use. You, you tune in your TV, you watch BBC. It's got dynamic sound and you know picture you can change whether you're watching sport or movie. Or, you just turn it on and watch it. Only the only the real diehards will adjust the sound and adjust the picture for every single style of. Uh, whether it be live sport or, or a movie or a TV program. So that's, you know, what, what we're looking at. We have the ability to fine tune the products, but out the box, you can just turn them on and go and they're pretty much set just like a TXI Plus if you're coming over from that. So you know that you can just turn it on and just use it as you did before. So without further ado, let's switch to camera two and uh, see what we've got here. So. Seeing as I work for the company, I thought I'd treat myself to a, a nice uh, storage case. Oh, and some nice coloured hard cases too. So they come with a black hard case out of the box, okay? So this would be, is it going to be a purple one out? All right, so they come like this. You've got a bolt, you know, it's fairly self-explanatory. Battery door, that's what they would come with, a nice black hard case. But I've just pimped them up and used me uh, purple ones on there. All right, and here's the receiver. Again, comes with a hard case, and that's all good to go. So the first thing you do is put your batteries in. I don't think I need to go through this too much. I've already got batteries in this one, but I'll just show you how quickly and simple it is. It comes with a screwdriver, um, so it's, it's perfect for the job. It's, I've already got battery in this one, but yeah, I'm going to show you how quickly it is. So what's the time now? So I'm just having a look. That is 6.39. So I owned it up. Okay, that's my battery. If I was taking it off and putting it back in. All right. Pop that in there. Okay, the same would be if I bought accessories. So just to show you, that's the, the safety back, if you can see there. So if I was putting that on, I'd do that. I've, I've, I've done about fitting accessories before. Um, so there's quite a good video on that that's very clear and concise, so I'm not going to drift onto that. But you can see, I put my battery in. And I've screwed up my screws. Remember, don't over tighten these screws. You know, you're not going to change the batteries very often, once a year, if, if, if that. And they are into plastic, so you don't want to, you know, that's why it's a little screwdriver. If you do use a different one, don't over tighten. You will strip plastic if you're over, you know, if you really give it some. So just 
you know, tighten it with that. It's not a problem, it'll bite, but um, you know, don't really give it some and uh, you know, that's as tight as it needs to go, just sits flush there on the back. So, I've got my alarms. I'm gonna take them out of their cases. These are as they are. And you can see here, I've got some here that have got D-locks fitted, just because these were demonstration ones, but they're all on there. And I've got my receiver. So I'll take them all out there and so you can see what's going on. So it should be very simple. All right. So we've got push buttons on the front. Right, so two push buttons on the alarms and we've got three push buttons on the receiver. You hold all three push buttons down on the receiver to turn them on and you hold both push buttons down on the alarms to turn them on. All right, so I turn my receiver on. You hear that sparking up there. And the first thing it does is when you turn it on, the per let's put it that way so you can see straight down, the purple LED will start to flash. And that means it goes straight into pairing mode. So different to the um, older receiver that you had to put it into pairing mode, this automatically says, right, I'm a brand new receiver out of the box, I need to be paired. So all you need to do is just turn on your alarms um, in the order you want them to be. So I've got a purple one here, so if I just turn on my purple alarm, there you go. If I turn the volumes up slightly, because everything's zeroed, I turn the volume up slightly, you will hear what I've done. So you heard that that connected because the LEDs flashed and it went, did it, and then it moved on to the next color. Well, I don't have a red one because I've got blue, green, and white. You can program in or pair into any order you like, but I'll keep them matching the colors for, for now, and then I'll show you how to do multi-channel programming probably at the end. So if I press this, is push button one, this is two, this is three. If I press push button one, I can skip over till I get to the next LED color. So now white, I've got a white alarm here. I turn it on, there you go, I turned it on. It automatically picked it up, went did it, moved on to the next one. So now it's saying, what do you want to go into blue? Turned on the blue, so away we go there. And this is a green, I just turn on the green. It's automatically picked that one up. And now it's saying, have you got one to go in the yellow? And no, I haven't. So all I have to do is just press the button again, skip over the yellow, and everything is now paired. So all these alarms are now paired. So that's how quick and simple it is to get them going. So now we can just basically go fishing because these have all got presets. So We've got basic functions. So you've got, um, if I haven't, sh just, to, just to show you, remind you what you've got. You've got your volume, you've got response. So that's the response to the line movement. So that as was sensitivity, if I'm, you know, if you're a TXI plus user or any Delkin user previously, then we had a sensitivity control. This is now response. There's no switch at the bottom anymore. So this is what you would adjust to pick up the line. So you always have to adjust that. All right, so when you go fishing, you've got, it's still, they're all set to the same tone out the box. So you've got a medium um, tone. All right, so that replicates through there. All right, and you've got um, day and night LED brightnesses. So out the box, they're set to night mode because they wouldn't want to blind you. And that's a medium brightness, there's eight levels so out of the box, it's set to level four. And if you can see, they're probably all just glowing. Yes, you can. So that's night marking. So that night mode has the night marking. So you can see that they're all glowing up. If I put them all into day mode, which is just by holding the button down, that's push button two. Okay, put them all into day mode. and you can see that they're all very, very bright. So day mode, the default setting is level eight, full brightness, as you would probably use in the daytime. You've got eight levels. You can change that yourself, okay, if you wanted to. But what I'm saying is LEDs set, ready to go. You just out the box, medium brightness with night marking. If I wanted to put them into day mode, I just press the button. If I want to put it back into night mode, I just press the button again.
okay? They are all set on the same tone for the moment. And that's it. You can go fishing now. There's nothing more that you need to do. So, all right, they're all set on the same tone and I will come back into changing the tone. But now all I have to do, I set the response. So I can blow on it, set it to, um, uh, patch and pod, set the line. How, how responsive do I want it to be? And I can go fishing. And that is as simple as that. And that's took me a couple of minutes maximum. And now I'll go fishing. Now, if I want to change the tone, I will show you how to do that. And that is probably something that you would do at the start, either before pairing or after pairing. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter, but I'll turn the receiver off just so that when I turn these off, it doesn't set off the anti-fifth on the receiver because um, I will need to turn these off to change the tone. So if we turn, which one should we do? So we just do this one. So if I want to change the tone, and that's probably the only thing that you would need to change or, 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 or feel that was necessary to change um, before you went fishing because most of the time you're going to want your alarms to all be on different tones. Some people want them all to match. Some people want all different ones, but generally you want it different. So we turn the alarm off. I turn the volume up so you can hear a bit better. So, right, so if I want to change the tone, I turn the alarm on, I hold the buttons down, and I wait for two beeps. Okay, the alarm is now in setup mode, and tone is adjusted by push button one. If I hold the button down, it goes up the scale. If I let go and hold the button again, it'll go down the scale. Hopefully you can all hear that. I got 64 tones. If I want to repeat the tone, I just let go and just keep pressing. I go back up the scale. So I have it there. And if I just leave it about uh, five or six seconds, it times out and then your tone is then set. Okay, there we go, timed out. I hope you heard that and now I've got that tone set differently. And again, if I set tone on this one, I'll go for a higher one just to show you again. So turn the alarm on, wait for two beeps. I'll turn that one off, sorry. Turn the alarm back on, wait for two beeps. Okay, and now I adjust the tone. Let's get the loud one. There you go, that's the loud one. So there's resonant frequencies through, through the tone, if you just wait for that time out. So there'll be certain tones that are louder than others. That's to do with the um, resonant frequency of the speaker in the, in the cavity. But you know, you've got the volume control there. They're just ones that really are good on the ear. And you all know what those are because they'll be similar to what a TXI Plus was or, or any other alarm. You know, you have resonant frequencies of speaker. So it's nothing different between us and anything else. So there we go, I've now set Tone on that one, tone on that one. And if I wanted to leave that one the same as it came out the box, and I could change the tone on that one. And that's it. You've changed your tones, you've paired your alarms. See you later, off you go, I can go fishing. That is how simple and easy they are to use. And that, you know, you can't really get much simpler than that. You know, the, they have the beep speed control. So um, push button one here, this control adjusts, you can have it on mute. So if I put it on mute, okay, so now that's muted. You can see that's flashing and nothing going on. But if I hold it down, I can change the beep speed. It's got eight levels. and eight is maximum, and when it gets to the maximum, it just um, stays there. Every time I go to change the beep speed, it'll always go back to level one. There you go, so level one. But, out the box, beep speed is set to level four. All right, so that would be exactly the same as your, um, any, any Delkin alarm previous to that, so a TXI Plus, any Delkin alarm, the beep speed that on here, level four, is 
virtually near as damn it, exactly the same as a TXI Plus. So you just go fishing. You don't need to play with the beep speed. You don't need to start fiddling with LED brightnesses. You just want to change your response. So as was the sensitivity, set it to your line, set it to your setup, and away you go fishing. How simple is that? Hopefully, um, that shows you just quite how easy and simple it is to set them up. Um, let me just check that uh, people have got uh, any questions on that. Um, let's just go through. Just go to the new alarms, new ones. Love the quality. Thank you very much. Love my TXIDs. Very happy. Good. That's Jamie Dulake du and uh, Mark Hill on YouTube. Um, Hi, did the night lights work with the EBD? Jacob57 on YouTube. Yes, all our hangers work with all our alarms. So yes, they do. Um, sorry, is there a limit? No, the, uh, Michael Goodyear, is there a limit when fishing with Delkin alarms? When fishing what I call super, there's no limit. In fact, as long as that line's touching that sensor, you can fish with the line as slack as you like. All right, in, in, a, in, a, in a different situation, which might not be, you know, but it's, it's very similar. Fishing for uh, pike or something with an open bay alarm, that's, that line's only got to skip over the sensor and it will set it off. Completely, you know, not possible with a wheel because a wheel needs something to turn it and there's not enough weight. But yeah, slack lines, not a problem at all. Um, hi there. What's that? Glenners on YouTube, uh, sorry, on Facebook. Lee, is there any way I can get my TXID LED all one color? Uh, I think you mean the, re well, they, you can choose any color you like. Uh, Glenis, do you mean the receiver? If you mean the receiver, no, because, um, and I'll, it, it, we have them all different colors so you can identify each channel. If you had all one color on your receiver, and I hope that's what you were trying to get to, at night, if you look down and you had a run, and it, if, say you've got all blue LEDs in there, how would you know what was left, what was right, and what was middle? The whole point of, having the different colors. Obviously they match our color range, but we don't do specials because it takes away a bit of information. You just don't know. So by having, even if you had all blue alarms, and I will just revisit pairing in a second just to show you that you can, doesn't matter what order you have them in. But even if you had all blue alarms, you can have them coming out all different colors on the receiver. It doesn't matter. So you know what's left, what's right, what's middle. You can have them set or in the first four channels or whatever you want to do. It's totally flexible to have it how you want. Um, and I'll show you, you can have multi-channel pairing. So Glenna's bear with me and I will show you guys multi-channel pairing because that might be useful for some of you. Uh, just bought two TXIDs and RXD for my 30th birthday. Here's them tomorrow. Excellent, Danny, on YouTube, excellent. Um, let's have a look, let's have a look. I have purple, excellent. Uh, caught four fish in an hour. And a half, New Delkin, 14 pound, good that they were christened. Paul Cole, excellent, can't fault, they're brilliant alarms. New Delkin since they're old October, excellent. Uh, love in mind, this is Wayne Tester starting me in the living room, sat on my pod, uh, dad, let's iron up the venues, yes, you can get out there. Uh, can't wait to hear my Delks rip off, Jacob, no, that's great. All right, so let me just um, switch back to the um, camera two again and show you about a little bit of uh, variation on pairing because that was the simple, straightforward um, single channel pairing. But we do have another option and we do have what's called multi channel pairing. So if I wanted to, I could have all these alarms all coming out of one of the colors on the receiver. So I can have, you can have up to four on each color. So I can have 24 alarms coming out of there if I wanted to, which would be very exciting. Um, but you know, you can have up to four on there. Um, so again, bit best way to pair is, is, is to turn them off. You can do it with it on. You can just activate them. I could do it like that. But best practice, turn the alarms off. Like that. And then the act of turning them on because they transmit when they're turned on um, will allow you to pair quite, quite easily. All right, and then when they, that's because it would be how they would come out the box. So all you'd need to do is just, just put them back to how they would be out the box. All the controls are all zeroed. Obviously, I've changed the tones on these. And again, if I hadn't mentioned that, 
it memorizes all your settings. I'm sure you guys have seen that, but it memorizes your settings. So whatever you've set, if you change the LED color, you turn it off and back on again, it remembers it. If you've changed your tone, of course it remembers it. If you've changed your beep speed, it remembers it. So all those settings are remembered once you've fine tuned it. But if you're just leaving it as all its defaults, then of course it just comes as it was out the box. Um, one thing to note, when you pair, you must pair all at once. So you can't pair two and then tomorrow come back and try and pair another two. You can't add to it, you have to pair it all at once. If you want to pair extra alarms, you need to clear the memory of the receiver, which is uh, what we call a mem clear, and start again. And I'll show you how to do that because that is relevant to what we're doing now. So you need to turn the receiver off, oh, and then you turn it back on, wait for two peeps, all right, then hold down push button three, and that clears the memory of the receiver. So the receiver must be off, you turn the receiver on, you hold the buttons down, wait for do two beeps, and then you hold down push button three until the receiver, it makes all those confirmation tones, and then the receiver turns off. And then when you turn it back on, it will be back as it was out the box. If anybody buys a receiver and it doesn't do that out the box, and it does a different startup that will, that, like it was paired, then you need to do that mem clear because sometimes people might have used it in the shop, might have demonstrated it to somebody. They certainly leave us, um, you know, unpaired. But if the shop's played with it just to demonstrate, sometimes they might have paired an alarm in. We've had people where, you know, it's, it's done the startup as it's paired. You just do that mem clear, you get back to that point, and away you go. So, I've turned my receiver on and it's saying, I'd like to pair. Right, we're gonna do something a little bit different. I want to multi-channel pair, all right? So I wanna put more than one alarm into the LED on that. All I have to do is to hold down the button. Now, I did that deliberately because there is a timeout and it's about 45 seconds to a minute. So if you're sitting there with it flashing forever and not doing anything, then it will twitch itself off and then everything's cancelled. So you have a bit of time to sit there or if you do something wrong and you pair things in the wrong order or you think you've made a mistake, all you have to do is, let's say I, I paired that alarm in the wrong channel for instance, I could just wait for it to time out and then that would cancel the pairing and it's uh, 45 seconds or you just turn the receiver back off again and that also cancels the pairing. So I turn that back on and it goes back. Pairing's only confirmed when you've skipped all the LED colours and got right to the end and it gives you that confirmation. So, single channel pairing. We want to now do multi-channel pairing. All we have to do is hold down push button one and wait for the confirmation tone. Okay, and now we're in what's called multi-channel pairing. So it's pipping at me. That's an indication that it's multi-channel. So I want to put all these alarms into one of the colors here. So say you had all blue, you might, uh, or all green or whatever, you can put them all in the one color should you wish. So I'm gonna skip along. Let's put them all in the blue one for the sake of argument. So all I have to do, turn on alarm one. There you go, it confirmed by doing the flash. But as you can see this time, it stays on the same color. And now it was given a single flash, now it's given a double flash. What do you want to go into channel two? That confirms, and now it flashes three times. What do you want to go in channel three? And four. Self-explanatory, what's going to go into channel four? All right, so now I have all four. Now I've filled up the channels, and that's why it's moved on to the next one. I don't want anything in green. If I do try and program an alarm into a, a, the same channel, it will give me an error message. So I'll turn this one up. And that means it's already paired. You can't pair the same alarm twice into a receiver, it's not possible. So, I don't want one in there. I don't want one in yellow. And now, 
If I turn the responses up so that I can set them off, you can see that's the first one went off. And what it does let you do, and that was number four, and number four flashes four times. So if I set off alarm one, alarm one went off, it will flash once on the latch. There we go. If I set off alarm four, then it will flash. Oh, that was alarm, that one, let's do that one. It will flash four times on the latch. There you go. So that will flash twice, three times, four times. So that does give you the information that you're looking for of what a different um, alarm has gone off if you're using that um, style of pairing. So again, fairly, fairly straight forward, hopefully. Um, so yeah, multi-channel pairing is you know, a slightly different, but again, pretty straightforward. And it, you can choose that right at the start and then you're good to go. Nothing changes on the alarms, it's just where they're coming out on the receiver. And again, if you make a mistake, mem clear, clear it, start again. Program. If you buy another alarm in the future and you want to do it in, you go through the pairing all again. Of course, it remembers the pairing. Once it's done, you take the batteries out, pairings for once only, unless you clear the memory because you're adding another alarm. Um, I think the new TIX RD designs are great. I have an issue with one of the alarms where one of the LEDs seems to have stopped working. I've reset the factory setting. It isn't, it has a bit of a problem. Do you have any further advice? Well, if the LEDs um, dodgy make Clive, then that might be something, could be a dry joint or something. So um, I would definitely get that back and we'll switch that over for a new one for you. No problem at all. It can happen. Uh, LEDs are just a component if it's got, you know, if it's gone down. Um, you know, if you are fishing at the moment, then make the most of it. You know, obviously it's not gonna stop it from working. It will be annoying. And of course we'll switch it as quickly as we can. But if you can put up for it a bit and set it back when you're more convenient, then of course we'll get it done as quickly as we can. Um, I see it's flashing the white light every now and again. Dave Smith, that is the power on indicator. So that is, and I've explained this quite a few times, there's no switch on the receiver. There's no switch. So what it does is that it will blink. Actually, it will start with the white and it will blink the last channel that was activated. So if you've got alarms in the purple or whatever, it's the last channel activated will blink. Um, and it's just like a, a smoke detector. So it's just a sh reassuring you that the uh, receiver is on. That is switchable, so uh, you can turn that off should you wish. So that's not an issue. Just see section 3.1 of the instruction. I'm not gonna go through all that now. Um, we're closing up and people will be getting bored of listening to me. Um, life in the story cast. thank you, Andrew Moore. Loving it. Who's that? Uh, I'm sure I know Andrew Moore. Maybe, I don't know. Um, one of my TXIDs is diff, diff, uh, difficult to turn on. Okay, I don't know. Uh, check the push button's not stuck or something like that. Um, now obviously, you want to give them a good firm press together. You've got to hold the buttons down. Um, Hayden Osborne, if you've got any issues, then maybe send us a message on uh, Messenger. There's a little video or something. Just show us what's going on. We'll sort it out for you. No worries at all. Uh, can't wait to get me a new black box. Yes, Glenners. Uh, if you do like the black box, it is available. It's, it's been updated, as you can see. Oh, it's all setting them off. Um, it's available for a website already, Delkin uh, Stockist. Um, you know, it's just it's universal. It does fit all the alarms. Um, first set of decks, absolutely love them. Fantastic. That is Damien on YouTube. Uh, thanks for the advice, much appreciate. Clive, no worries. Have the sales of new touch been better than expected? Yes, Ian, massively. On YouTube, could never have dreamed of, of selling. Uh, how many? They've, they've absolutely uh, flown out the door far more than we'd ever thought possible because we thought everybody was going to hang on to their TXI pluses and, and so many people have but uh, you know so many people have had faith in what we've produced and are loving the new product so yes um, it has been amazing uh, and and they are really good you know it's not not you know even if you just used them as they came out the box they would be a far better product than your TXI Plus is. You don't even need to worry about the beep speed or changing the LED brightnesses or any of those features. If you just turn them on, use them as they came out the box, and you've got the benefit of a digital radio system, which was is far better than the old system. You know, And I've said this a number of times, the old system was fantastic when we first brought it out 15, well, 20, 18 years ago, but life moved on a lot quicker, and the radio was past its sell by date, and we knew we had to move on to the digital radio, it was the alarms that held up the process of doing that, we had to get that right, but 
the digital radio. I know it's, you know, others had digital radio and I'm not saying that, you know, we are unique, but our radio system does have some unique features. It is extremely, um, what should I say? Sorry, it's far better than our old one. It's got some very unique features. It's got better penetration, better range, better performance in general, and it does the job and you've got the fantastic alarm. So yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it just is. And, uh, you know, I, 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 it just it just is. So even if you just took them as they are out the box and use them, you've got everything you need. And, and you've got more besides if you feel that you can start to play with the f features afterwards. Um, on the bank at the min, hope to go, go, go uh, this is uh, Craig on Facebook, Craig Bardsley. On the bank at the min, hope my alarms can't go off, can't beat the sound of a one-toner. It's not a one-toner, it's a warble. Oh, the Delkin warble, what are you on about? It's no one-toner on a Delkin. <laughs> but we know what you mean. We know what you mean. You can't beat that. Can't beat that. Um, Evening, Lee. What's behind the curtain? Are they available? Uh, we look good in the man cave. Uh, behind my curtains is my decks because I DJ on the other side of the curtain. I do this on this side, and tomorrow on, on on Fridays I DJ from the other side. I don't know if anybody likes a bit of dance music, but every Friday or every other Friday at eight o'clock, I'm live doing that kind of thing on the other side. I won't show you. It is a mess. Lots of wires. Um, but they're no, not available. That's just for demonstration. Sorry. Um, that was Sean Burtmore. Uh, how much for a set? So Tom Bing, they are 557 is the retail price for uh, three alarms and a receiver. So they're 134.99 for the alarms and 149.99 for the receiver. So that's, you know, not you know, a massively more, you know, about 50 quid more than the old system. So, you know, it is very, very competitively priced if you guys are looking to uh, update. I think we've covered most things there. So, I, you know, I think we've, 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 we've shown you how simple and how easy it is to use the products. My little girl's going bonkers. You may be able to hear her in the background. I think I'm going to have to go. She's giving me the call. But putting the batteries in easy, setting them up's easy, using them is easy. Download our app. That is the best thing. It has all bite-sized videos. It has all the um, quick guides, you know, for the features. So when you are in the bank, yes, it is new, okay? So if you're coming from something that was far more simple in terms of, well, what functions it had on it, something new is always going to be different and it takes, you know, five minutes to, to understand it. Quick guides are easy, tells you which buttons to press straight away to do what you've got to do. And as I've said before, once you've set your LED brightnesses, once you've set your tones, if you're going to personalize it, once you've set your uh, beat speed that you found that you like for your setup, you ain't going to be changing them, you know, you're not going to be changing them. You're just going to do it for how you want it. It's going to be once. Um, you know, you're very unlikely to be fishing in extreme situations every week. You might go to a situation where it's extreme, in which case a change of beat speed might be beneficial. But generally, you're going to fish the same way in the same lakes over and over again. Um, so, you know, once you've changed it once, that's it. So easy, easy, easy. Um, Right, hopefully that has got everything sorted. If you do need any more help, you know where I am. All social media, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, email, we're all here. So if you need any help, advice, we're all there. So thank you. You guys have a great weekend. Whatever you're doing, if you're getting out there, I know the weather's getting a bit iffy, but it looks like it might be getting a bit clear and cold, which is you know quite a nice place to be in the frost fishing. And we'll see you all again. Uh, next week, whether I pop up for a little impromptu Q&A again um, early in the week, might well do that. Um, but again, next Thursday, 6.30, Delkim Live. Take care. Don't forget, guys, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you never miss any of these or you can watch them again. And we'll see you again next week.